Hello and welcome back to my let's play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I have to fight really hard to not say Breath of the Wild when I do the intro, even though it's been like a long time since I did my Breath of the Wild let's play. Like I said that intro so many times, it must have been like built into to my muscle memory somehow. Anyway, as you can see, I am building up a big collection of rocks. I have my big rock shield and I have my, uh, my rock sword uh, as well which uh, seems to be pretty effective. Seems it's like a, a sword with like a giant rock just put on the, the end of it. That was my new ability I got in the, uh, the last episode called um, Fuse, where I can fuse some things together. What happens if I fuse? Let me grab a, let me grab this stick here because it's not the, the strongest thing. And uh, let me let me remember how to use all my abilities. You have to bear with me for a little bit at the beginning of the series because uh, obviously I'm going to be still learning all of the controls. Okay, oh, so the, what, that does more damage, does it? I think it said the damage. Why does that do more damage? Uh, a tree branch with uh, added grip, excellent, uh, equip used as a weapon. Oh, so it doesn't say what, like, the the thing really does. It just says it does, like, one more damage. I don't see. Let me let me attack something uh, with it if I find something and uh, see what, what it does. I just kind of try and, like, blend everything on everything early on just because it's, like, a fun to play around with. And what have they got? They got, like, a, gi a giant, like, door <laughs> attached to, to their thing. Oh, there's another person here. I, 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 I want to I wanna use them. Um, oh, I want to use their thing. Oh, and they've got, like, a fire thing as well. Okay, tell you what, let's, let's deal with these guys and then we'll worry about mixing some things. Oh, wait, no, I'm just using a boring weapon here. Tell you what, let's, let's, throw, uh, let's throw this. So that's, like, nearly gone anyway. And then let's steal, let's steal their thing. Oh, it blows them back. It's almost like the uh, the Korok leaves from before. I can blow them away. And then I got my spiky spear that I made. But you know what? This is nearly broken. So let's just try and do one big whack with this. It will probably smash, but it will uh, take them out at the, the same time uh, as well. Okay, they definitely... um threw these enemies down here just to give me like a a little bit of a inspiration so yeah there's the uh the soldier construct horn so can i if i pick up a thing and i go to to do it no i so i can't like pick up the um i can't just do something from my inventory i'd have to like drop it on the floor so let's say so i got this horn so look let's let's drop this why can't i drop things from this menu Am I being crazy? I guess do I, do I just need to hold it first and then drop it? Is that is that all it is? And then so I've got a tree branch which would normally only do two damage. So let's do something slightly. Like, let's use this uh this wooden stick which does four damage. So let's use that and then let's try and connect this to to that. And ah, uh, that see that looks like a proper weapon now. That looks awesome. So how much damage does that do now? And it now does nine damage. Okay, that seems like that's the uh, the way to get OP uh pretty quickly. Uh, we have a chest here. I mean, I could go over it to it, but could I just like, could I just like grab it from here? Oh, can I not grab chess? Okay. Uh, I think they did that very intentionally because you could probably skip a whole bunch of puzzles. Oh wait, can I not climb this? Is this unclimbable? Oh, it is climbable. I keep struggling to climb things for some reason in this game. I can't remember that being a problem in Breath of the Wild. Like, I go to climb it. And I kind of just like rub up against it and it doesn't do anything. And oh, that, that's almost like the, the same kind of weapon that I created, but like one that was already uh, there. I'm just going to pick up this um this rock. I don't think it is a Korok seed, but it was a little bit suspicious by itself. So <laughs> I thought I might as well check. Uh, anyway, uh, I was told uh, to go and have a, a look-see. Like right at the end of the last episode, just as I went to save, uh, one of the, um, the, the constructs came up and they gave me a device. Uh, you can kind of see it. Oh, no, you can't see it because there's a big rock in the way. Uh, if I equip this, there we go. You can see it on my left hip. And it's going to, like, power up some of, like, the uh, the Zane d devices, apparently. Uh, or Zonai devices, I guess it should be. Discovery! <laughs> Ponside Cave! Um, oh, Fuse Attack Power plus one. Can be found in caves and wall. Uh, giving off a faint light. Oh, could I use this to, like, make a torch? Uh, I wonder. Um, yeah, so apparently I can use it to power up some devices, and they said go through this cave to, to find something that you'll be able to, to use it on, so uh, that's what I'm going to, to do. I like the fact that it shows, like, what it will do. Like, a lot of these are only saying plus one, but I don't think these are really things that were probably meant to, to be fused. See, I want to grab that there, but I need to, I need to get a, a rock fuse. I guess I always want to have, like, a rock fuse on something just so I have it. And you know what? I might as well have some munch just because I'm uh, 
not that healthy until let's just eat one more just to top myself up fully uh right okay let's let's just get this sword and then let's put a rock on the end of it so i need to go to fuse and then go put it on like that there we go getting the hang of it and uh, yeah, let's go and uh, break open the um, the minerals through here. And then uh, I think there's going to be some sort of device on the other side of this cave, which I can power with the, the thing I got on my hip. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Are you... Are you bad? Are you going to fight? Okay, you're probably going to fight me, right? Oh, bubbles. Okay, I mean, are they, are they like... I mean, is it, I, I don't want to attack if I let... Can, I, can you just hurt me? Then I know you're bad. Because you look very cute. And there's a child. Okay, you, I know you're bad. So are you like... I kind of don't... I don't want to... I'm just going to leave it. You know, if it's not going to fight me, I'm going to leave it. I don't know if I'm meant to. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave it. Because it's not really causing me any trouble. It's just blowing its bubbles. So I'll leave it there blowing its bubbles. And uh, we'll keep uh, going and having a look through here. It's weird not having my... um my bombs like i keep as soon as i see like these kind of cracked rocks my first thought is like blow it up blow it up but uh i guess the that's not really uh, an option uh this is nearly broken so you know what as soon as i don't have much inventory space let's just ditch that we can pop a bubble with it uh and then let's go and fuse uh, a rock to to this there we go so you can do it all quite quickly uh, it's just gonna take a little while to to get like the the muscle memories for like all of these new abilities which i obviously uh, didn't have uh feel free to shout out to me in the comments if if i should have attacked that thing maybe it drops a really amazing thing but it kind of wasn't attacking me it was just jumping around the ceiling blowing bubbles and uh, i did i didn't want to <laughs> i didn't want to attack it first when it seemed uh, pretty passive all right we found another chest I wouldn't mind getting some cloves. Oh, they're perfect type. Just what I wanted. Like, I was feeling a little bit cold just looking at Link. <laughs> so I kind of want him to, to get dressed up. Also, not the uh, the most protected either. So we've got a, a tunic. I mean, it's not the uh, the, the most defensive thing in the, the world. Can I fuse things to make cloves? Or is that would that be like one step uh, one step too far? And oh, is this the uh, the device that they were talking about earlier? Uh, the rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Ah, it seems you don't know of Zonai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. The green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multi purposes. purposes. Well, I don't know what that word is. Uh, using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. That is a relief. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores energy required to use Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Uh, use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out at inopportune moments. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change uh, our need for a raft. So the devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them. Okay, so this is a... Uh this is where we can start doing some uh, some building uh, by the, the looks of things. And I guess I'm going to get more of those canisters. So at the moment I've only got one. So I guess like for now, I won't be able to use the devices for that long without them needing to, to recharge. Uh, but eventually uh, I should be able to, to upgrade that and uh, get it better. Anyway, uh, Raru's here. How's it going? Mm. The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, our crafters... Uh, after that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs. You'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled with their specialities that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. Very interesting. So we got this thing. So I can pick it up. But I guess mainly I'm meant to be using Ultra Hand. Ah! Uh, we may have need of this part. Uh, there are more materials near the water available for your use. Oh, so can I use these ones then, I guess? Okay. So I don't know if I, I don't think I want to go across the water there. 
I'm guessing I'm going to want to go down here somewhere. Let's just have a little... Can we just have a little play uh, before we before we carry on? So I guess I want to be using Ultra Hand. Let's, uh, let's put a, a few of these... Um, these logs together for starters. I'm pretty do that pretty quick. And then I guess I need the fans. Do they need to, could they be on top or do they need to be underneath? Let's try them on top, because that might be a little bit easier. Because then I don't need to worry about switching this round if I can get this to face the right way. There we go. So let's put one there. Then let's put one on the other side. And let's say whether this uh this thing will fly. Because obviously I've got no way to like control it yet. Uh, let me just use a little stick for for now just to hit it. So if I hit it, it should start going. Oh, so that sets them both go. Ah, so it does need to be on the underneath because at the moment it's just blowing my lovely hair. But could I use that? Oh, I don't have my glider. So I couldn't use that to, to fly. Okay, I mean, I can turn it off. I basically lost all of my energy now anyway. Okay, at least we've, uh, at least we've learned that. Uh, oh, okay, I just broke my tree branch, but that's okay. Oh, you know, I don't even I don't even care what's in there. <laughs> uh, so where are we trying to get to? Because there's these platforms. And these seem to be the ones that kind of just float there naturally. And look, if I if I move them, they just stay wherever I place them. So I guess maybe I could make a, a little staircase to, to kind of go up that way. Right, we have some sort of like scout guy there looking at. Oh, see me, you see me. Right, let's uh, let's do this, but let's attach something to it. Uh, what would be a good thing to, to attach to it? I mean, I've got the fire thing. It doesn't really say, like, what would do... I mean, that the amber looks like it would do some damage. Actually, this might be quite good. So let's uh, put this spiky thing on the, the front. And then let's do that. Okay, did okay damage. Because obviously there's no damage, so it's hard to know how much better it did. Let's try, um... Let's try the, uh, the fire thing. Oh! I saw it said plus... Oh, that says plus three. But I don't see it until it's, uh, until it's gone on. I guess I could probably start learning. So that's only plus one. But obviously it would set things on fire as well. Let's try, let's try. What does this amber say? Oh, plus four. Okay, that's the best yet. But obviously it's probably like quite a bit rarer. But I have stunned it so I can move in. Oh, I'm not holding a melee weapon. That's not good. That's not good. And I didn't get my shield out in time. Okay, let's have something to eat. I can't die again immediately after, after, just, after just dying. Let's go, and, uh, let's go and have something to eat. Top up my health a little bit. And then I should be able to finish this thing off. I got my giant rock shield, so I don't think it's going to really be able to do much against me. <laughs> oh dear, right. And then let's just do a big overhead strike. And it is out of there. Okay, so the uh, the clouds have kind of cleared. And it looks like I am probably meant to be trying to cross to that other side of the lake, I guess. I mean, unless I could try and fly up there. So what I'm going to try and do, because uh, those logs didn't seem the most stable thing... I wonder if I connect fans to these, will they be able to, to move? Although my problem is, is like, at the moment, I think it's just going to go straight up. Actually, I could put two fans maybe underneath it, and then one, like, behind it to propel it at all. So why... Why can't I grab this anymore? Is it, is it like, is it stuck in that tree? Or is it like you can't move them like a certain distance away from where they were? I don't know. I don't know why I can't grab that one anymore. Let's see, is it going to allow me to move this one through? <laughs> I think it will if I can fit it. Right, this one might be a little bit easier to work on. Because it's kind of like staying floating like that. I can like put things like underneath it quite easily. Like if I just lift it up a little bit higher, I can turn these round because these are still the wrong way round. And if I think if I do two underneath... And then one behind it. Actually, you know what? Because it stays flying, I might only need to do them behind it and not have to worry about doing any underneath. So let's give that a shot and let's see whether these like little fans can even move this giant thing. Okay, the fans are attached. So I need to hit them to set them off. So I guess I could like just try and shoot one with my arrow. Okay, we are moving. The question is... Am I going to have enough energy to make it to the other side? I think I will just about. But I definitely want to get some more of those uh, those energy containers and all. <laughs> Not my most elegant landing. I'm assuming later on I'll get something that like would allow me to like steer them uh, a little bit uh, more properly. That was fun though. Right, looks like we found a uh, an entrance to like some sort of mine. <laughs> and I can kind of just tell by all of the uh, the objects we have lying around. 
Discovery! A mining cave. Right, okay, so do we want to put one of these, uh... Put one of these down on the track. And then I guess, what, do I want to put, like, a fan behind it? I wonder, could I, like, could I make it go really fast? By doing, like, loads of fans. <laughs> like, a big... <laughs> could I do, like, a big, like, stack of them going, <laughs> going out the bat really far? <laughs> Oh, I think I can. All right, we're we're not going in the mine, guys. We're going to space. <laughs> oh god, this might be a bad idea. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah, start ourselves going. Okay, it's going fast. It is going very very fast. It's probably going too fast. I cannot see anything that we're uh, that we're doing. And oh no, I crashed. Okay, oh, I, I want to stop it going. Okay, stop it going. Stop it going. Stop it going. It's okay. Uh, I, th I don't think this is destroyable. No, it doesn't look cracked, but that was a, uh, a fun way to get down here. Okay, so it wants me to use these, uh, these blight bloom seeds. And so I guess the obvious thing is to get a stick and to put one on the end, you know, to use it like a torch. But you know what I think actually might be a little bit smarter is if I put it on my shield, because then I can stay using, like, my stronger weapon, but then if I have my shield out, it will just stay, like, lit up. So let, let, let's see if I can do that. Oh, can I not... Can I not do that? Oh, can I not... I, I don't think... Oh, can I not even pick them up? Oh, yeah, I got one there. Do I need to, like... Hit it? So let me, uh... Let me try dropping... Oh, yeah, I've got to hold it. And then drop this. And then... Oh, quickly take out materials from your inventory. Uh, hold up and select them. Okay, but it's like a giant list, so it's like kind of hard to do that. So, right, let's do this. Then, yeah, if I put it on my shield... Oh, but it, oh, it's not lit up, though. That's the problem. Is it? No, it's not emitting any light whatsoever. Hmm. Okay, my uh, my genius idea was not actually as uh, as <laughs> genius as I thought. Well, what, what happens if I do put one on, like, a, a weapon, then? Oh, see, the thing is, I don't want to put it on any of these weapons. All these weapons are quite good. I guess I'll, I'll put it on a... Let's destroy fuse material. And let's just try putting it on a, on this sword. And then do I need to, like, hit it on something to, to set it off? I'm not sure. I'll be honest, I didn't really read properly what he was trying to explain me to, to do. But let's put it on here and see if we can work it out. Ah, okay. So that's, like, put it down in the ground. Well, let me, let me read what we're meant to do with these. Before we go deeper in the cave, because it is very dark. Okay, it's basically saying that if I hit them with a sword or an arrow, uh, they will glow. But it looks like I can't, like, once it's down, I can't, like, carry it around at all. But the, uh, the light does seem to spread really, really far. So it's not like you have to, like, keep on doing it again and again and again. And then also, let's, uh, let's not forget... I could also just use a torch <laughs> as well. Uh, would be uh, would be uh, quite effective. I can just about see what I need to, to see down here for, for now. Uh, but yeah, I might just light a fire and use a torch, to be fair. I've always been uh, old school. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's light up this weird room that I found. If it will uh, let me hit this. Does it have to be literally from a sword? It said a sword or an arrow. Maybe my rock club isn't enough. Oh, oh these, these just aren't glowing ones. I guess these are just like... Only slightly lit up. Okay. I've also been getting this, uh, Zonite. And the description said it's used to, like, power things uh, as well. So I'm sure that's going to come in useful. But let's uh, speak to some of these guys. And uh, let's work out where to go from here. Ah, so they were processing Zonite. Let's get the explanation. Oh, you're unfamiliar with it. Uh, this uh, Zonite I mentioned is a unique mineral that can be mined far uh, beneath uh, the land below. Uh, there are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Zonite is processed by smelting it into a furnace. Uh, it is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. Uh, a few such materials will be ready uh, for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Okay, this is this is all new. Didn't know this was going to be in the game. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Uh, so Zonai technology is typically powered by Zonai charges. Ah, so I've been getting these things by killing some of the uh, the constructs. Uh, these occasionally solidify uh, into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting Zonai into other useful materials this way is called processing. Uh, okay. 
Uh, please visit any time you require processed materials. Oh, can I not pick that up? Can I, can I take these? Is it going to let me just take them? Oh, wait, do, oh, do I have to buy them? Oh, so, or, or am I saying I need to give my, uh, Zonite chargers, uh, sorry, my Zonite to, to make these? So what are the, the actual, so I haven't actually got any of these chargers. So let, 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 let's go and get some of these. Uh, let's just say I'll take them all because I'm greedy. Uh, so yeah, that will cost me 30 pieces of Zonite. We haven't actually, I don't think, have we got any rupees yet so far? I'm assuming rupees are still in this game. And the raw materials will be available once the processing is complete. So, what, so I just need to like hang out for a bit. Because yeah, I want to read like what it says that this stuff does. And then let's read what the, uh, oh here we go, we can see here. A fragment of crystal made by condensing zonite charge processed with zonite said to be used in energy cell improvement. Oh, so it's like an upgrade thing. Okay. And then these are used just to power them. Okay, so I wonder it would just be things to like kind of make my like machines and that like last a lot longer. So right, looks like this zonite is going to uh, zonite is going to be really important. So let's just go and grab as much of this as we can. Zonite capsules. Oh, are these ways to like carry all of the uh, the equipment that I could use to, to build for, uh, some. You have forgotten, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spare. Uh, the ones uh, I gave were fan types. Uh, you can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Uh, many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I will keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back into its capsule. Think carefully before deploying it from your pouch. Okay, that was the first thing I was wondering. Can you, like, use them as many times as you want? But it looks like the answer is no. They're kind of, like, one use. So better choose the right time. And I guess now I'm going to have to to use one because I'm going to be going on the minecart again. Uh, but this time I'm going to be going. Oh, I'm going to be going uphill. So I think the the fans are going to be important. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Seeing as I've got the capsules now, let's see if I can get away with only uh, using one of them rather than having to to use loads. So, do I just say to like drop it now? Aha. Okay, that makes sense. And then we can grab this, and let's hope this one little one will be <laughs> enough to to power us up the up the hill. <laughs> right. It's all attached. Let's give it a give it a whack. Oh yeah, it's like plenty enough to to keep it going. So that is the capsule gone though. I could obviously take just this specific fan again. And wait, is there a was there something at the bottom of that rock? Hmm. Oh, there's a chest down there and a bunch of enemies. Are we going back? Is, is this back in the direction of the temple? I thought it was when I looked at uh, at my map. But let's uh. Let's see where we uh, where we end up. Oh, I'm by one of these crystal things. I saw one of those things ages ago, and I was very curious as to uh, as to what it would be. Uh, but first, uh, let's go and speak to to Raru uh, to see what he's got to to say to me. Oh, I can <laughs> I can turn this off now. Don't, don't leave it on. Don't waste the batteries. <laughs> The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. It also played a part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was the place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bell stir memories in me. Okay, I am not near the temple. The temple is all the way over there. I completely lost all sense of direction from everywhere that I've been going. Uh, so I could go down there, but is there a way for me to get back up? Oh yeah, there's a track down there. So you know what, if I um, if I go and grab... Sorry, it's still struggling with the controls a bit. It will take me a little while until it's uh, all in my muscle memory. If I yeet this down there, then I'll hopefully be able to use that to get back up. Because I want to get whatever's inside of uh, this chest here. But first, I'm going to do something very dramatic. If I drop down and I go to my bow, then I'm going to I'm going to put something special on it to make it do extra damage. Uh, maybe one of these, and then I can slow mo shoot it and see if I can take it out in one shot. Oh, that was impressive. And oh, I, I I then went to dive on the way down and took way more damage than I uh, than I needed to. But before that, it was pretty cool, right? And it'll remind me as well to do some uh, to do some cooking soon. Can I just like jump and like go bing? <laughs> Do they even know where I am? Peekaboo! 
Peekaboo. <laughs> this is quite fun. Peekaboo. Am I using one of the better bow? Okay, I am. Yeah, I've got a, uh, a better bow than I was using earlier, which is why it's doing a little bit more damage. But these big guys have quite a lot of health. Let's uh, let's just run in and uh, finish them off. I'm sh I'm sure I'll be fine. And you. One more hit should do it. Then let's uh, see what we can grab from the uh, the chest. As soon as it's unlocked. I do miss the little uh, little bell noise. The little ding ding that went in uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, we got ourselves an opal. So I think they're mainly used for, for selling opals. If I remember from uh, from Breath of the, the Wild. Right, I am ready to, to make my way back out of the cave again. And I took my uh, my previous contraption. My triple fan monstrosity which I, I could use to blast my way out of it. <laughs> to be honest I don't know if it's making any like actual speed difference but it just looks way more epic epic while I'm uh <laughs> while I'm traveling and crash <laughs> right to the end. Uh, right I'm gonna decide where I want to to go next then so it looks like uh there's another shrine uh up here so I guess maybe if I keep going around to the left might be the uh the the smartest way to go before i do that i want to see what this is oh it's like a capsule release thing it's like a big gumball machine but full of capsules do i need to like pay to get them out uh, let's speak and see device dispenser operation confirmed on track to meet today's zonai capsule production target oh did you want to use the device dispenser i have nearly met my target you're welcome to use it uh sure Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things as uh, construct horns and Zonai chargers. Okay. Uh, you can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. Uh, it is similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain? Uh, no, I know about the uh, the capsules. Okay, so I do have to, to pay to, to get them. So I need to put in... Was it these? Yeah, the horns or the or was it? Can, can I put the charges in? Let me let me hold a charge and put it in. I, th I think that's what I can put in. Aha! It's definitely doing something. Then is it like a uh, is it like a lucky dip? What I get out from it, or will different ones always give me the the same things? Oh, this is a new one. A flame emitter. Okay, we're gonna have ourselves some fun, aren't we? So if I put in like, say if I put in three together is that going to give me three things or is it going to give me like one super thing or is it just going to rip me off and give me a rubbish thing oh it gave me loads of things oh wow okay i got a portable pot uh so i can use that for for cooking oh my god i can make like a giant airship and just live on it another portable okay probably don't need this many portable pots but a fan and a flame emitter will all be handy so tell you what while i'm here let's do one more big roll and throw in five of these because I don't want to end up in a situation later on where I want to make something and I don't have enough pots <laughs> in order to, to make it. So as soon as I'm here, buy one of them. Let's just go <laughs> crazy and get a bunch of them. So we've got a bunch more fans. The portable pots I could probably do without. I don't need that many. But the fan, the fans will come in uh, useful. Uh, anyway, though, uh, sadly, that is going to be the uh, the end of this uh, episode here. In the next episode, it looks like we will start off by helping a uh, another poor uh, little Korok who's uh, got themselves into a bit of trouble. And then hopefully uh, getting our way to the, the next shrine because we still have more powers yet to unlock. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!